Hi everybody, welcome back to my basement. Today I'm gonna talk about the new Dyson Mini V2. Yeah, this is the second one and not the first because it is 10 times better. My suggestion would be do not build the V1 because it's a lot heavier, it flies worse because it's a pusher setup but all the weight is up here so it's unstable, I don't like it. That's why in a week I build the second version because it's much better. It's lighter, it flies better and flies even longer, faster. There is no point about building that one. <laughs> So, if you're not familiar with this, this is called a cine whoop. I will call it a micro cine whoop because it's really small, it's 85mm motor to motor. This carries a GoPro, this is a Hero 6. This one was my last year OG Dyson. As you can see, this is a quarter of it. And it's a quarter of the weight of it. I needed something to fly around people, above traffic and in places where I don't trust flying with this thing, this is huge. I mean, this is still a good option because it's kind of soft, it's... It, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but you know, you have 400 maybe grams in the air and it's not the best. Here you can carry GoPro 5, 6, whatever you have, even other cameras. The full, This supports a full size one. And as you can see, it's dampened, so you don't have a lot of vibration going into it. So why do you need a Euro 6 on this one? Basically, this is really compact, so there is not much space for dampening, and you will have some vibrations going into your camera. Even if motors are new and props are balanced, everything, there is a slight buzz going into it. And this goes into the gyro. And these cameras record gyro data into the video. What you can do with this gyro data? To stabilize, there is a software called Real Steady Go. You can actually use my discount code uh, RIMZER5 to get 5% uh, off. I'll put the link down in the description. And this software analyzes the gyro data and stabilizes the, fu the footage. Well, GoPro 6 uh, records gyro data perfectly, even under vibrations. So you will always have a perfect result. GoPro 5 and 7, you cannot use the 8 until, I don't know, they are working on it. Those two cameras, even the 5 session, they, mm, they are not really precise under uh, vibration, uh, and vibrating environment. So this is a really high pitch vibration. And basic, basically, it will uh, mess up the horizon and the placement and you will see some strange movements in your, um, in your stabilization. So I don't recommend using those ones. I will need to uh, find a way to create a dampened mount and to test it, but I have a GoPro 7 and I don't wanna tear it apart because I use it for underwater and general videos. So, I don't know, I will have to see in the future what I can do with it. By the way, get the 6, it's cheaper, no problem. If you have a 5, try it and tell me in the comments how it works. Because maybe it works, I don't know. Okay, what I recommend to build your Dyson Mini V2. Actually, let's call it Dyson Mini because the first one will get ditched, because I don't recommend in any way. So. I suggest you getting a Cinecan. I have not tried with the new Beta 85X, this is the old one, and this supports up to 3S, but I put them both on a scale without GoPro mounts or anything, only the only props, frame and electronics. Okay, the Beta 85X is like 15 grams heavier than this, because motors are heavier. There are two boards and not one, because there is a separate ESC board. And even the frame is like 5 grams heavier. So all added up, 
these wins. Also, they bought supports for S. So I don't see the point in going into it. Maybe it has a bit more torque. I don't know. Tell me in the comments if you build it with the 85X, the new one, if it flies better than this one. I will have to get, um, to get one and try it, because I don't know. There are two ways I suggest you building this one. The first one is getting a Cinecam, and it comes with the tarts here, on top of it, and you just remove it. Remove the, the camera and the, the, um, and the two boards of the tarts here, and that's it. You keep the VTX and you rewire it, I'll show you how. Or there is a second way, you can do it. And the second way is, I'll link down in the description the only components you need, basically. So props, motors, frame, FC. And that's it. You also need, for both cases, a separate FPV camera. Get the lightest you can find, because every gram you, you save, it's like 10 seconds of flight time <laughs> on this thing. And all added up, this thing right here is 90 grams without battery, as you see it. You can add like the you can add the um, the ND filter support on it, but this thing is like nine grams already, so keep it light. Also, you can strip the GoPro down more, but I don't know. I like having the screen and so I can uh, change settings really fast. So you will start off with the Cinecan. There are three screws, one here, one here in front and one on the other side. You remove them and then you can lift it up. There are other three screws connecting to the um, connecting to this board right here. This is the VTX. You remove them and save them for later. Perfect. You can unplug the two connectors that go into the You can unplug the two connectors and you have the VTX free and remove it. Now, this is the Tarsier, Tarsier board and it has three other wires. One solders into the positive of the FC, the other two wires go into this connector here. You will only have the... Okay, so you will only have the black one and the yellow one. This red one, I added it later from another connector I found lying around. And so this is a signal from the camera, ground, and this is positive. What it does is it goes into the, the VTX right here and then it takes 5 volts out of the VTX and even the, um, the signal here goes from the VTX into the FC and then from the FC it goes back into the VTX. You can see it, it's marked which cable does, which wire does what. So you remove your, um, your Tarsier and you can throw it away. Or you can build it buying all the separate pieces so you don't have a waste tarts here. Or you can use it for another project, it's a good camera. So what you do now is... You, depending on what model you have of this, you can have both an SPI receiver, so the receiver is integrated into it, and you will have an antenna underneath here and there is no need of adding your own receiver. Otherwise, there is only one 5 volt port. So as you see, there is a small 5 volt pin right here. That's the only 5 volt pin you can use on the board. So this is the trickiest part of the build. You can solder a big wire here and then split all the cables up here so you have more room to split and then add some heat shrink so it doesn't short the, the board. And so what I have is one cable, one wire going into the VTX and the FC, and sorry, the, the cam here. 
through the VTX. One wire going into a stripped USB-C adapter. This powers the GoPro. This is the naked GoPro. As you can see, this is a first stage strip GoPro. And you can power the GoPro through 5 volts. Be sure to check polarities because you can mess up here. So always double check your polarities with everything. Then we have another I have another red wire going into the receiver because um, my X light is not able to communicate with the SPI receiver. And that's it. Then all the grounds you can connect them directly here. You can connect them directly here where the there is the main ground because you have a bigger pads and it's easier to solder stuff there and that's basically it you are done wiring it up so I'll show you plug the big wire here the small one here if you don't find a red wire going into here you can always solder it into the middle pin behind here it will be tricky but you can do it or you can make a split here or wherever you like you can even solder it back in the main split and so that's it it's wired you wire this up and it's done this is all the electronics you will need so it's a bit trickier but it's not that hard now how to build it basically the tertiary board will come with these plastic adapters and I designed my mount to fit them through that's it now grab the two wires the two connectors here one and two and boom now you add your GoPro And it's ready. You can tuck them away. And that's it. You have your cine whoop. Okay, now a couple words about the GoPro. I will uh, link here a video on how to uh, take apart a GoPro Hero 5. This is the 6 and even the, C the 7 they are the same on how to tear them apart. This one you can remove this uh, black metal housing but you will lose the screen. You will save 10 grams by the way even more but I like the screen because I can uh, you see you strip buttons and then you glue them here and with the buttons you press the mode button and then the shutter like this one two and then the menu the menu will open here and you can select modes without having a screen or without connecting to your phone i find this really really useful to switch between pal and ntsc when uh, you see these like um, these buds because there, there is always buds here in Europe because <laughs> we have the 60 Hz uh, no wait we have 50 yeah because we have 50 Hz current and it's weird so 
I will suggest you leaving this. If you remove it, you will have uh, maybe a minute of more fly time, which is a lot, but I don't mind it um, because the screen is too much useful for that. Other things, be sure to glue your sensor because if you crash, this may come apart and then it's a pain to put it back together. So glue it on here so it doesn't move glue your buttons you can bend ribbon cables once so study on how to bend them and then don't bend them again otherwise you will break them you can other uh, by the way buy replacements on uh, aliexpress especially if when uh, you take the camera apart this is the trickiest bit to take apart because uh, you have to strip it down and there is like a rivet you have to take it out with uh, with patience and um, being gentle so other than that you can put the original um, the, the original um, ND filter holder on here even uh, it doubles as a lens protection because if you crash this is gonna crack eventually I mean if this crash you cannot see it but it doesn't touch so it's good but I, wa I will not trust it a lot so you can I will maybe uh, design some 3d print mount to stick and the filters on it and even to protect it so all of this package right now it weighs 90 grams so with a 30 gram battery you are at 110 grams and if you remove this one you are under 100 grams so it's protected it's light it works really good it flies really nice i love this